Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is me Rashik Al Muiz and welcome to my YouTube channel Rashik Darashu. So I'm, I'm a st student of Brack University and I have done my residential semester back in summer 2017 and well right now those of you who are going on the summer 2018 session I know you must have a lot of questions bugging your head so today I'm here to answer all of your questions and clear all your doubts so just if you want to get your answers keep watching this video so I hear you guys are going on the 4th of May 2018 so you still have got three to four days left and right now you must be busy with the packing and all so um, I have made a short list of things that you should take with you to TAR so I'm just going to read it out loud so you just uh, check whether you have them or not with you Lock with four keys. Chacha bhi tala je gula ke bolle in Bengali. Dry foods. Take as much as you can. Chips, chana chur, biscuits, cakes, etc. Necessary medicines. Well, you might catch a fever or cold, you know, in the middle of your RS life. So, you know, you might not get them instantly from the RS medical center. So, you know, it's just better if you keep the necessary medicines with you. Polo t-shirts. Now, this is one really important thing for the boys, especially. Um, uh, well, when you are outside of your dormitory, well, you always have to wear a polo t-shirt, whether uh, whether you go in your classes or whether you go in the dining street, have your food, or whether you go in the Markley Hall, which is the auditorium. You always should wear a polo t-shirt. Well. Um, and those who will play football, basketball, you know, they're, uh, they should take jerseys, boots, and other necessary accessories with them. Umbrella. Now, tar in summer is a mixture of both um, scorching heat of the sun and also the rain. So, you know, it's always better to keep an umbrella with you. And uh, cold balish. Well, if you cannot sleep without a cold balish, well, you can take him and table fan you know sometimes in summer you know it may got too much hot in the room so you know it's always bad well it's a, it's always better if you keep a table fan with you as well now multi plug now multi plug is a really important thing because you know you, you will be uh, carrying a laptop with you and also uh, you know you might charge them and you know also you might charge your phone so you know it's always to keep uh, you, you know it's always better to keep a multi plug with you as well formal dresses now uh, maybe you already know that uh, every Monday in Tark is a formal day so take as many as formal dresses as you can so for the boys it's a formal shirt pant formal shoes tie and for the girls it's especially uh, sari so yeah um, carry as much as you can the formal dresses and right now um, I'm going to talk about electronic devices You're, you are not uh, allowed to uh, carry any electric stuffs with you whether it be an electric iron or an electric guitar you have to avoid taking anything uh, well any electrical devices and also playing cards well I know many of you like playing Uno but please don't uh, carry them while you are in tar because the dorm supervisor comes every once in a week to check your room well if he finds out that you're carrying playing cards you might get a straight hand apology which won't be a good thing uh, and also you must carry extra money with you because you know apart from buying books and stationeries the you know sometimes uh, for your own security you must carry extra amount of money and also there is a because center in the RS campus so you know um, you can also collect money from there and um, the small locks used in um, suitcases I know it's uh, the security system in RS is really good but still for your safety you know you never know what might come in the way so you know just for a just for your safety you can just carry a small lock with you in your suit uh, for, for your suitcase be, uh, and you can lock them and keep them in the wardrobe uh, because yeah you know it might sometimes get I don't know 
uh, someone might touch your bags without your permission that won't be a good thing right okay so these are the things that you should really you know take to tar and once uh, well when it's uh, 4th May well the day of your going to RS so at that day you know before you uh, leave from your home just in a piece of paper write your name ID uh, dorm name and room number on a piece of paper and glue that on the suitcase because whenever you will be going on a bus well it will be needed because when you uh, land in RS at that time you know it will be easy for you to you know search for your own suitcase so yeah that's that and um, I guess it's good if you go uh, in the bus with your friends and it's far better if you just uh, carry your own transport because you know you won't be uh, s uh, standing in your own transport uh, just for f two to three hours right so it's better if you carry your own transport and go there straightly so that would be better I guess and uh, a lot less hustle so once you go in RS so uh, you know your room number so Nikunjo, Maloncho, Gondhraj, Shurjodoy uh, these are the four dorms so you go in your respective dorms and you will meet your uh, new roommates well at first the roommates might not be really friendly with you but still if one gets cranky so you should just try to be friendly and be uh, try to be more free and comfortable with him or her you know because you have to live three whole months with them so you know if you just uh, well uh, well if you just maintain a friendly behavior from the beginning uh, then it will be really easy for the other one to get more comfortable with you so yeah and on the day of the uh, going to the RSC you will be meeting your job supervisors um, trust me the job supervisors are really uh, nice because you know the whole three months uh, you know they will monitor you they will give you advice so if you have any types of problems you can go seek their help because they're really helpful persons and you know you know they act like your guardians in RS so yeah so on the second day um, you will have your well you will have your orientation um, so in the orientation you will be meeting the campus superintendent Rehan sir and the assistant campus superintendent uh, Farooq sir and you know they're really friendly person so once you get to know them uh, you, you will understand and you know them they monitor the whole campus so you know well you'll find them really friendly with you but if you do anything wrong they might not be really friendly so you you better save your ass and um, from the third day you know your classes will start the life in RS will start so let me just give you a brief idea about the daily routine of RS um, from 7 to 8 30 is your breakfast and on 8 45 uh, a.m. is your assembly and um, um, and on 8 45 is your assembly and from 9 a.m. starts your classes so well your classes uh, start at 9 a.m. and end at 4 p.m. so within this time you know you will uh, do your classes and also in the uh, meantime there will be your snack breaks like on 10 30 uh, and 4 p.m. there will be a midtime snack which will be held at Anandupur and um, also at uh, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. will be your lunch time so you know in, in well in this duration you will be having your uh, meals so after 4 p.m. you know you're just uh, free to roam around the campus you know just explore yourself a bit so you know 
you can explore the whole campus with your friends and you know uh, so this th this is your duty like in the first few days to explore the whole RS and you know get to know everything uh, where I mean where uh, the things are I mean the Markuli Hall the uh, smoking zone the, for the boys uh, um, at the RS shop you know the fields Durbar Duranto you know you're just free to explore and when it when the clock exactly strikes 7 p.m. at that time uh, well you will be ordered to go back to your dormitories because uh, that's the study hour and also the gates of the Nisha building which is the academic building the gates will be open so you can also spend your time over there so when it exactly strikes 8.30 so 7 to 8.30 will be your uh, study hour and from 8.30 to 9.30 will be your dinner so you take your dinner and you roam around with your friends after that and exactly at 10 p.m. the guards will blow the whistle and which indicates that you will have to go back to your dormitories respective dormitories so so at 10 you come back uh, in your dormitories and then after that the dorm tutors uh, start their dorm meeting so in the first few days you will find that there are a lot of meetings uh, going on because the supervisors will you know try to give you all the advice about RS and you know everything you need to know so you know the first few days the dorm meetings will be uh, like one hour but still with the uh, space of time I really guess the dorm meetings will be lessening in time so yeah so I, well after the dorm meetings after 11 your uh, uh, after 11 p.m. you guys are not allowed to roam around the lobby uh, because you know after 11 you're well you're supposed to stay your in your own rooms um, after 11 you're not allowed to go outside your room so um, that's it I mean this is the normal routine of you know RS life uh, once you go you will understand uh, better so yeah so what else is left I've just noted down all those things okay so your class days are on Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday so four days so what do you exactly do on Thursdays Fridays and Saturdays it might be a good question right so on on specific Thursdays, you know, you will be uh, doing your um, uh, SLL brag visit and a visit to the National Memorial and Lalbagh Fort. So you, you will get to know them uh, once you step in RS, and those will be held on specific Thursdays. SLL is a, a presentation on Ham 103, and brag visit is a presentation based on day 101 and you don't have to give any presentation on your visit to Lalbagh Fort and National Memorial and on Fridays now you know that you will be all doing an RS activity which including uh, mushroom cultivation uh, animated filmmaking film studies robotics so you know each of you will be assigned to an RS activity and you will be doing those with your friends uh, and on Fridays that is so on each and every Friday just for two hours you will have an RS activity and also at the end of the RS uh, you know you will have an RS day where there will be a sort of exhibition to you know exhibit all your I mean what you have done so far and people will come and see and you know judge you by the activities you have done and at the end of this uh, you will get um, and you will get a certificate regarding your RS activity so that's a good thing to add to the CV I guess Saturdays now Saturdays and also Fridays there might be seminars because you know TARP life is nothing without seminars because um, each Thursdays and uh, Fridays and Saturdays you might uh, have uh, more than one seminar so TARP life is full of seminars um, it might be a bit uh, tiring to you 
uh, you know, the uh, well attending the seminars. But once you uh, go with your friends, you know, you, you, you'll see that it's really fun to attend the seminars. And Parents' Day. Uh, within these three months, you know, three to four days, there will be a parents' meeting day. Uh, parents will come and, you know, welcome to see their children. And, you know, they will stay from uh, 3 to 6 p.m., I guess. And they will come. Well, normally the parents' days are held held on Friday after the Jumma prayer, you know, so they come on three and they leave on six. So three hours, they, you know, they get to spend uh, some time with their children. Uh, oh well, so that's it. And um, in day one hundred one and Ham one hundred three, well, you will have uh, two quizzes one quiz before the midterm and one quiz after the midterm so you'll get to know all this when you go in rs and um eid holiday when you will get the eid holiday after the midterm you will get a total amount of 10 days uh, uh you'll get a 10 days vacation in the uh well in rs and well, what else is there? Don't forget to, um, you know, behave yourself in RS. This is one really important thing because, you know, if you get an apology, um, that might not really be helpful for you in the long run. Because, you know, if your grades are fine, but, you know, if, if for your behavior you get an apology, I guess you won't be able to get the vice chancellor certificate which is a really uh, blissful thing i mean you know vc certificate is a really important thing to achieve in the rs life if you get one then i really guess that will be a really good thing to add to the cv and you know your overall conduct should be really good in the rs campus and you know that's how you will get the vc certificate and speaking in English, well, whether you speak good or bad English, it doesn't matter. But it matters that at least you're trying to speak in English. So, you know, whenever you're in RS, I know it's not possible for 24 hours. But still, you know, most of the time you should, you know, try to speak in English. Because, you know, it, well, it will be really important for your vocabulary. And, yeah, so... You must speak in English. When you know, I have already heard that the grand dining has already been established. So you know, uh, like us, you won't get the separate dinings, and you know, you will get the uh, uh, tripti, tushti, uh, shugandha, and etc. Uh, and etc. So, and at the end of the final, uh, well. At the time of the final, you will be attending a Viva Vos exam uh, on Ham and Dev, you know, which will be containing 10 marks. And also, um, during your talk life, you know, in SLL, uh, SLL will contain 5 marks. And the presentation you give on Brag Visit in uh, on Dev, uh, that will also contain 5 marks. So, yeah. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the Ramadan lifestyle because, you know, in your RS life, you know, you will get the Ramadan. Uh, well, you know, getting to do the uh, Tark in Ramadan is a really a good thing because, you know, your class times in, uh, in Ramadan will be less than to one hour. So, you know, you will be doing your classes just for one hour. And, well, except the classes, you don't have anything... Uh, you don't have that much thing to do except your classes in Ramadan because you know there will be no assembly uh, going on in the month of Ramadan so you know you, you can just have a good sleep and after having a good sleep you can just go to your classes do your classes and then you know just chill for the rest of the day so I guess this is one really um, good thing right well because you know you are going in RS, you know, you have to enjoy uh, well with your friends. And, you know, 
you will get to enjoy a lot so yeah that's it and you already know about the cultural night right so at the end of the RS life uh, before the finals you will have your cultural night where you can have loads of fun you know there will be two cultural nights and you can perform you know you can dance you can sing well you can well you can perform in front of your I mean the whole RS and you know um, those two nights will be the best two nights of your life so I guess I've covered almost all the things that uh, you know how your talk experience would be so in the end I just want to wish you all a very good uh, a very happy talk life may your talk be full of memories because you know this will be the most uh, uh, the best three months of your whole bracket life because uh, I don't think that you will get to enjoy yourself like this in the rest of the bracket life because we all know that bracket is full of para and so yeah that's it um, I guess I'm done with my speaking and also well so yeah I guess I'm done so if you have any other questions regarding RS you can always ask me uh, so this is me Rashi is signing off oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention is the read listen learn you know this might be a uh, thing full of para but still you know you always have to find uh, some time for this uh, well readlistenlearn.com is a website you know founded by mark bartholomew sir and you know um, you well for each week you have to uh, finish reading 2500 words so please uh, find some time find at least 20 minutes of your daily rs life to you know read 2500 words on the readlistenlearn.com and the dorm supervisors after every week you know they check the library section of the uh, students that whether they have finished reading 2500 words really if you fail to uh, finish reading 2500 words uh, uh, I mean that won't be such a good thing uh, and you might uh, end up getting a coffee with Rehan sir well you, you'll get to know about this once you go in RS and another thing um, in the Ramadan time you know people are really confused that you know whether the food will you know fill up their tummy or not but I can guarantee you that the Sehri that and the Iftar that you get there well I, uh, well after this you know I, I will be showing you some uh, food uh, foods that were given in Iftar and the pictures were collected by my friend Samin Fahmid so thanks to him and um, well the iftar and series are really uh, a source of balanced diet and you know this will definitely fill up your tummy don't worry about that and you know the bond in this the friendship and the bond that you will be having you know in this one month you know having uh, well getting up from bed to have your sehri and you know getting to do the iftar all together you know this will really create a good bond among you guys and you know the friendship will grow more strong so that was it so that, that was all I had to say if you like this video please hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Rashi the Rashu and um, in the very end I just want to wish you all a very happy talk life may you all have a wonderful summer 2018 talk um, if you have any questions regarding RS you can just ask me in the comment section below and I've given two more video links at the bottom of this video and you can just check them later on and have a wonderful talk this is me Rashi Kalmoy signing off and till next time ta-da